Hello everyone, this is Mason, and I would just like to first apologize for the delay on this video. I know this was highly anticipated and a lot of people are looking forward to it, but then unfortunately, of no fault of mine, but rather it was copyright law issues that were the problem, and my video kept being blocked and muted, so I had to basically alter some of the original songs that I was using in this video and compensate them with music of my own, so the show can continue to go on. So please forgive the fact that I had to make those notable changes. Uh, nonetheless, the ultimate reason for this video is for the SL Trends highlight show and not so much the music. So therefore, enjoy the show and thank you for your patience. I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. Yeah, I, I think that's what greatness is or should be. It's, it's not something that's, that, that lives and dies with one person. Mm. It's how can you inspire a person to then in turn inspire another person and then inspires another person. And that's how you create something that I think lasts forever. Yeah. And uh, I think that's our challenge as people is to um, is to figure out how our story can impact others and motivate them in a way to create their own greatness. All the winter snow got you locked inside and feeling blue? Well, fret no more, because Second Life has some indoor fun designed just for you. And if you've ever wanted to know the perspectives from a designer's point of view, stay tuned to hear what designer Max Million has to say. Out with the old and in with the new, we'll recap our departure from 2019 with highlights from our 2019 year-end review. All this and more coming right up. Good, Mr. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go, Mr. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> What's up, everybody? And welcome to another edition of SL Trends Highlights. Today is January the 29th, 2020. And if you're all tuned in right now, you are joining me right now on the very day of my birth. Oh. And I'm here for real life, you guys. Woo! <laughs> So that is why I'm so excited and also slightly hoarse due to these conditions I have been definitely celebrating and living la vida loca, you know what I'm saying amigo? So therefore you guys, I thank you so much for joining me. This is not only a special episode due to the fact that it's my birthday, but we've got a lot that we're going to cover today. I'm excited to talk to you guys about what happened last year. I mean, I even got a big surprise for that. I mean, this has just been an incredible closing of 2019 and a very exciting uh, intro to 2020. A whole new decade, man. If you'd have told me that I would actually still be here around 2020, I'd be like, yeah, right. I do plan to be here, but I will be flying in my flying saucer and I'll be probably living on Mars. <laughs> well, I'm not quite living on Mars, but I am living in SL. Hey! <laughs> I mean, like, that could totally count, right? I mean, like, it is another reality, right? It's it's a virtual reality. I mean, it's like another plan, another reality, you know. Not a... Anyway, nonetheless, <laughs> listen, I'm acting really silly right now because I feel really good, guys. I'm so excited to be back. So excited to see you guys again. I thank you guys so much for the warm reception and the love that you guys showed the show. That is exactly why we're back bringing you this episode, too. The first First one was our trial run we just kind of want to see how well that you guys would receive the show and I have to say man you guys showed up and showed out and not only did you just give us such a warm reception we even won an award yes but I'm gonna get into detail about that a little more later on in the show right now we gotta do first things first now, although this month of January is special due to the fact that it hosts my born day each year, it also usually brings with it some really cold and in some cases, really nasty weather. And if you're the type of person who likes to get out on the town, being snowed in can be a bit of a bummer. <laughs> 
Well, when the season yields poor to really bad weather conditions, it makes me just that much more appreciative of my little virtual escape called Second Life, which is famous for providing fun virtual escapades for people of all ethnicities and gender to enjoy. Fortunately for me, I found a new form of SL fun that got my hips a bouncing and my wheels spinning. <laughs> no, I mean that literally. The atmosphere was full of excitement as we rolled and bounced to the tantalizing sounds of not just one, but six. <laughs> yes, you heard correct. Six DJs that included the star-studded lineup of some of SL's hottest DJs spinning on those ones and twos. The lineup consisted of Ja Jamari Philly, DJ Joetti, DJ Love is Love, DJ Derek Emerald, DJ Dr. Funk, and last but certainly not least, DJ Cecil Jarman. So if you happen to be looking for a little fun and excitement to kill those winter blues, you can't go wrong with the pulsating, vivacious music and the electric, eye-appealing atmosphere of the sexy, soulful Sunday skate, which happens to be the product of the VIP Sky Bar, which consists of not only the roller world, but also hosts the VIP Bad and Bougie and the seasonal liquid lounge poolside, which is only held during the summer months. The incredible array of clubs and roller rink is not only the brainchild, but was created and produced solely by the very talented and newly dope award nominated Shug's Finesse, <laughs> who's been opening the SL Grid since 2015. The skate actually started two years ago and was originally known as the Big Bang Bounce. <laughs> At that time, the event was held on Wednesday nights, SLT. Now it's held every Sunday at 3 SLT. So if you should decide to stop in, be sure you tell them Mason sent you. <laughs> also, we here at SL Trends would like to congratulate Chugs on her big 2020 Dope Award nomination. I can't express how exciting and humbling it is to be appreciated by your peers in the SL grid. Trust me when I tell you that. Hey Toby, do you mind telling us what we have coming up next? And now it's time for SL Entertainment News. One of the reasons I love SL is because it is a vast, ever-evolving playground for the wildest of imagination and or creative people. There are simply no limitations to where you can go or what you can do. For example, if skating is not your thing, then maybe some live interactive entertainment from the SL Open Mic Contest sponsored and hosted by Ed Butterfield will suit you. Here's Ed Butterfield with more information on that. Open Mic Contest welcomes all live performances. If you are a singer, poet, rapper, comic, or have something to bring to the live mic, the Open Mic Contest is where you want to be. This Wednesday, 6 to 8 p.m. SLT. We have 1,500 linden on the line for the top three winners. First place takes home 1,000 linden, and second and third places take home 250 each. The audience votes for the winners. In case you are new to the open mic, this is how we do it. You pay one linden to the contest board, which is automatically refunded, and then you press the green start button on the performance queue. When your name reaches the top of the list, it is your turn to shine. The audience can vote for you on the contest board and tip you on the performance queue. Our list stays open until the host announces that it's closed. The more times you perform, the more likely we will see your name on our pyramid of fame. We hope to see you this and every Wednesday, 6 p.m. SLT at the Open Mic Contest. Peace! Now speaking of entertainment, I'd be lying if I said I didn't find it both entertaining and hilarious while scrolling down my SL Facebook feed and reading and seeing what fast became a trending topic revolving around real-life hip-hop recording artist Trick Daddy. Now although Trick Daddy is a real-life music celebrity, this now iconic mug shot of his has found its way into the Second Life Facebook feed, which is why we had to include it in our segment for the show. Now let me just say the word brutal is an understatement. Facebook users literally tortured this guy's mugshot photo. One thing's for sure, you guys didn't like his hair. And believe me, you said it loud and clear with these gut-busting bad hair photos. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> 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 
Man. <laughs> You see what I mean when I use the term brutal? You guys win, I'm just saying. Now allegedly, Trick Daddy caught wind of the now infamous meme circulating social media and decided to respond by saying, and I quote, Let me get this right. You lie on me, make fun of the fact I have lupus, and all this just for likes? He wrote in his post, Thank God I'm strong. Everything is funny until it hits close to home. My feelings don't get hurt easily. I'm too worried about waking up tomorrow. Now I later found an article that stated, For those who don't know, Trick Daddy has been suffering from lupus for many years. In March 2009, while promoting his memoir, Magic City, Trials of a Native Son, he told radio personality Ricky Smiley that he's been quietly suffering from the incurable disease for well over a decade. Although the disease can be lethal, Trick vowed to not let it slow him down. I'm the type of person, I came from so far of a struggle that it don't matter to me. I learned to turn my downsides into jokes and get around it. He stated, My mama had 11 children from 10 different men. If she is strong enough to live with that, I know I could live with this. Now it was also previously reported that Trick Daddy was pulled over by police after he was spotted running red lights and colliding with street signs in a Range Rover. When officers pulled him over, they reportedly discovered that the 45-year-old rapper appeared to be asleep behind the wheel. Once awakened, officers noticed Trick Daddy's slurred speech and red eyes and asked him to take a field sobriety test, of which he failed. He was then arrested and taken to the Hammocks District Station where police found he had cocaine in a rolled up dollar bill in his belongings. Police also discovered he had an outstanding warrant for previous DUI. Wow. Now, with that being said, I just want to say first and foremost that we here at the show, especially myself, we definitely sympathize with Trick Daddy about his condition of lupus. I mean, that's anyone with any kind of sickness. You definitely would sympathize with a person, and I know I do. If anything, I'm praying for that person. However, I will make this also known. I didn't even have a clue that he had lupus, and I'm sure many people who were laughing at the memes didn't mean any harm or anything malicious by that either because they probably didn't even know that. This was all news to me after after reading the article, so I had no clue. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. However, that being said, I believe a lot of people just found the humor in the memes themselves, as we do with all memes that people post and create and just make really fun of. They're funny memes. I mean, I can't, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't funny. Straight up, it was funny. The meme, that is. not the sickness, the meme itself. So just wanted to make that clear and clarify that there is no intention whatsoever on the part of this show or myself of making a mockery of his condition. But more so, we were laughing about the meme, which I found to be, like I said, both entertaining and very creative. <laughs> and now, you guys, it is time for... Now it's no secret that Second Life is full of unique creative talents, one of which are those who specialize in photography. Now if you're really into beautiful and artistic creativity when it comes to photographing avatars in virtual realms, a great place to find some of the most interesting pieces is of course, as you might have guessed it, Flickr. Okay, so I have a confession. I was actually scrolling down my timeline on Facebook when I ran across some beautiful stunning pictures by a gentleman by the name of Julian Finer. In the process of me looking at his photos, it led me to a couple photo of him and a female named Dana Benyor. Now I'm just gonna assume that these two are sort of an item, I don't know, but it just kind of appears that way on the photos. If I'm wrong, please forgive me, it's just an assumption, that's all. Nonetheless, I clicked on the Flickr link that led me to other photos between the two of them and I just have to say they take some amazingly beautiful photos both together and also singularly because of course like I said Julian's photos are the ones that actually led me to find out about Dana so got lucky and hey found a pair <laughs> and they have some beautiful great elegantly well put together realistic photos from Second Life and I just think you guys would really enjoy you know seeing these pictures so I had to use these in the Flicker. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Now, if you're a Second Life photographer or just someone who enjoys photos of this nature, feel free to submit your photo faves to masonsantiago at yahoo.com. Again, that is mason underscore santiago at yahoo.com. If we like what we see, then your photo could be featured in our next segment of Flickr Now Watch.
Right when you think everything is fine, soon you realize it is not. The world you know is not what it is. Reality has been fractured, and you have now fallen into the tales of Twilight. Wow! Now that bone-chilling, spine-tingling clip is from the brand new Second Life CGI animated series called The Tales from the Twilight, which will feature four new episodes this month. This series is filmed, directed, and produced by yet another one of this year's Dope Award nominees, the very talented LP Kid, who is duly noted for his well-known SL comedy series called Mama Sid. Now you can find out more about the new series, The Tales of the Twilight, on the Facebook group page called Video Vibes-CGI Animation. Animation Machinima. Again, that's called Video Vibes CGI Animation Machinima. Please note, all of these episodes are pay per view and can be found on gumroad.com and will soon be available on Amazon Prime. Now, this year of 2020 will also kick off a brand new season of the Chit Chat with Chad talk show. <laughs> that's almost a tongue twister there. <laughs> The show is hosted by Mr. Chad Darkwood. One of the show's correspondents told us that the show's new episodes will begin sometime in February. Now, if you're looking to discover new and interesting facts all regarding Second Life, then I can assure you that you won't go wrong by visiting and subscribing to the Second Life YouTube channel. There, you can find a plethora of information all relating to SL. Take a look at this really interesting clip we found of an interview with designer slash content creator and logo brand owner, Max Million. Check out what he had to say in this video. I'm a designer. I make mostly heads at this point. I actually did a post on my Facebook compared to like how my avatar looked in 2005. It's amazing to me how much they've been able to add to this platform that is like, you know, 16 years old now. My goal is to give people as much customization options as possible. You know, sometimes I can recognize what's not mine, but I can't always recognize what somebody has taken that I've done and modified it. I think interacting with customers is the most important thing. You want to find out what people like, but also what people don't like, because you got to find out what's not working. When I first started, I had a job working from home, so I would actually physically be there for most of the day. Kind of built my business that way. Now, if you're interested in the rest of that interview, simply log on to YouTube and go to Second Life, and then you can find that particular interview in a section titled Made in Second Life. That particular interview was called Fashion Made in Second Life Dash Logo. And speaking of fashion, this month launched an all new exciting round of shopping at The Man Cave. where many of Second Life's top designers continue every month to wow all of us consumers with their highly anticipated and super creative mesh fashions, skins, and gadgets of all kinds. Move animations, fashionatic, And while I was there, I couldn't help but notice this incredibly detailed, highly customizable denim jacket by Talk Plastic. Now, I'm not gonna lie, at first I was a bit intimidated by the price of the jacket, which was a whopping 700 minutes. <laughs> and get this, that's not even the fat pack. However, as I zoomed in a bit closer and noticed how incredibly customizable it was, and after trying out the demo version, I immediately realized how high in detail this beautifully crafted jacket was. And I gotta tell ya, it's fast becoming my favorite denim jacket. <laughs> Good job, Tongtastic. So we here at the show give this jacket five stars. Now those of you who are on a tight budget might find this a bit of a turnoff. But if you're anything like me, then having the best quality makes every penny worthwhile. <laughs> Go ahead and give it a try.
<laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Man. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. That's real. That's love. <laughs> Yo, listen, I really want to thank you guys. Wow, that's amazing. Now, that footage that you just saw was from the 2019 VSAs, or better yet, the Video Stream Awards, which is the production of Geo Nation Studios. Before I get into this, I would just like to take the time to thank everyone who voted for me and who follows me and supports my work. It really wouldn't be the joy that it is to create without you guys showing me so much love and interest in the content that I create with both my music videos and this SL Trend show. So I really just want to take the time to just thank everyone from the deepest recesses of my heart and just want you guys to know that I couldn't do it without you. I would also like to take the time to thank uh, Geo Nation for creating such a wonderful show that pays tribute and honor to all of us videographers, vloggers, filmmakers, etc. And just granting us with a platform to be recognized and celebrated by all of our Second Life peers. I also want to congratulate all of the other nominees and award winners. And just as a word of encouragement to those who didn't win an award last year, just know that you are still a winner because you made the first step, which was and is to simply launch out there and create your interpretation of whatever it is that you do because you just never know whom or who you're inspiring and truthfully for me at the end of the day that was my goal and mission for all of this I just wanted to create a show that was both entertaining and uplifting and above all that would just make people want to get excited about their SL experience and simply bask in all of its incredible wonders and creations so with all that being said thank you again so much from myself and all of us here at the show now before we close the show I'd just like to inform those of you who may not already be aware about the video stream awards the award show is still fairly new to the SL grid with a launch of its first annual show which kicked off December 21st 2018 and of course the second annual show was December 22nd 2019 now as I stated before the show is designed to show gratitude to those that contribute artistically to second life in the form of video and media capture now essentially there was nothing on the grid to celebrate in this way. So Geo Nation Studio CEO Sergio Castellanos Sr. spearheaded the award show through his production company. Geo Nation, which has been producing video content in SL since 2015. The company started with just its CEO and now has grown with a team of over 20 producers, assistants, and team members. Wow. So be sure to check out their Geo Nation Studios Facebook page for more information about Geo Nation and its upcoming events like this and more. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this edition of SL Trends, the show where we feature all things SL related. But before we go, if you enjoy the show and want to see more content like this, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to your, our YouTube channel. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends and your family members. Just remember, your support is the key to helping us continue doing what we do. And now, I leave you with another VSA award-winning video of mine, which originally featured the song Heat by Chris Brown, but due to those copyright laws, I couldn't use that music, so therefore I have to give you some of my own original music, which is a single that I just recently released. It's available right now on iTunes and Amazon.com and Spotify and all other digital download sites across the world. Thank you again for watching and remember, if it's trending in SL, we've got you covered. Until next time, you guys, this is your boy Mason Santiago signing off. Adios, amigos. Yo, check it. 
I got a bit disgusted with this brother I was conversing with Discussing our music and the rituals we take when creating it Searching for distinction to separate from others To individualize oneself so you stand above all else Somewhere in the midst of our conversation he made it clear Purple haze laced with dust contributed to his career So like a teacher to a pupil quick to share Information to obtain the same so we fear So without hesitation he pulls out a blunt Ask me if I wanna hit it, my reaction I'm stunned Acting on impulse I just responded with haste I told him no disrespect, do you fam? I'm straight I don't think you understand the company you in My name is Boy, yeah, I'm rare, I'm genuine Pass me that pen and I'll take it to another level I learned to make a hit without assistance from the devil Told him, devil thinks smoking is me I don't ever have to blaze or engage in the smoke in the trees To get the juice flowing Cause I'm a function, assistant with my